Hey guys, it's great to see you. Today I'm going to be covering dynamic weather and dynamic time on Sol. So this all integrates with CSP and gives you some fantastic effects which means that you can make your own custom design on what you want your weather to do in the races and that includes the time of day as well and how quickly that moves. I have realized recently that this has not been covered in my other Sol and CSP videos but do check those out, I will put the links in the description and this is really an add-on to those before the new Sol 2.1 comes out very soon hopefully. To show off all these brilliant effects we're going to be at Imola and we're also in the VRC Formula Alpha Forenzo. This is the F07, the 2007 Ferrari. So this has been recently updated on race department and it is looking stunning. They have fixed a number of things on here. This is at 1.2 so I will drop again the links in the description to this fantastic car. Do grab it. Before we start the main parts of the videos then, some of you may have Sol installed but you may not have the apps enabled on the right hand side so this is what it will look like if you've not got the apps on the right hand side so I'm running the latest version of CSP here and you can see I've got a number of applications there that I can choose but I've got no Sol and I know I've had a number of questions on some of my videos where people can't find the Sol configs. So if you've not got these apps on this sidebar here, I'm just going to show you what you need to do. So here we are then, we're just in Content Manager and you need to click on Settings at the top. And you can see here I've got my About and Updates on the Custom Shader Patch. You can see I'm still on the Preview version, Preview 33, 1.74. If you click on a set of Courser and then click on Apps at the top, you will see here that I've actually not got these apps ticked and this is what will be happening. So if you've installed Sol and you've not got these config applications actually in the game on the sidebar you need to click these little boxes here and then that will put it up on the right hand side this is also a useful place when you do install lots of different apps because you can see here I've got all sorts of different things installed that you can actually disable them so they're not cluttering up your sidebar too the sidebar on the new CSP is really cool though and it is very configurable so that really does help so now we've ticked those boxes we've actually got them at the top of my bar on the right hand side here but actually if you've not got them there do click on the four squares at the top and you will see down at the bottom there on the left hand side you can scroll down and you will find them in there once you've actually clicked on them and you start to use them they will actually pin on the sidebar at the top there so let's just open them all up To begin with we're only going to use one of these config boxes to actually set up the dynamic weather and that is the one in the middle. The one on the left I've done a number of videos on the cloud setup in Sol so do check that out on the channel and the one on the right I'm going to go through later on I'm going to talk a little bit about the seasons and the time and how you can speed that up and set it to run with the dynamic weather that we're going to set up. So let's just remove the other two first that we don't need just so we've got the dynamic weather plan set up here. Here we are then with the weather config planner set up in front of us and we've got this beautiful Ferrari as a backdrop looking fantastic at Imola. So as you can see at the moment I've got the enable dynamic weather box checked um, and if I check one of the boxes underneath which is forcing a weather this is how you would change the weather on the fly. So if you're ever in a game and you're playing a single player game and you just want to actually change the weather this is how you would do it. I would also keep auto rain and auto wipers on because I know sometimes when you've got different versions of CSP etc some of those may not work correctly so do make sure you've got those on. The settings we're interested in is this top piece here so I've clicked on the box enable dynamic weather and the green text is the plan that's actually running now and you can see there's 24 of those and you can cycle through them. Most of those come as a config with Sol but by pressing the little arrow button there I can put a different name in there and I can actually build my own dynamic weather and I'm going to show you how to do this now. The first thing to do is though is to make sure that we take out all of these boxes on the right hand side. So as you can see they are going to give you a random modifier to what you're going to ask this config to do. So I think to begin with take those out and you can also add those in at a later date once you've got used to how this is going to work. As you go down these different sections here you can see that there's a number of things that you can change including the temperature, the degrees of the sun, the speed of the wind and also how long each of the weathers is going to actually stay on. For this demonstration I'm going to keep the top two values at one and that means that actually they're only going to stay on for one minute and then they're going to change within the next minute. You can play with these obviously and when we start to look at the way that we can change time you can also make some very dynamic effects with this. The first thing to do then to start your weather plan is just to click anything on the left that you're going to start with. So I've clicked on clear 
I've then clicked on scattered clouds and as you can see in the box on the right hand side it's actually adding those in. Now to make this really noticeable I'm then going to click on heavy rain and because I'm using the preview edition of CSP the one from Patreon and I would advise you all to get that that means that this, this is going to be really dramatic when we're looking outside of the car. Once you've done that then you need to give it a name so I'm just going to call it Surspats test and then it's really important that you say save new plan at the top. Now as you can see now the green text says that I'm actually on Surspats test LUA. That means that that's actually built a weather plan and that's all set up ready to go. So here I am live in the game and as you can see the flags are fluttering very quickly. That's because I've actually started this plan off live in game, single player on practice and I've sped time up by five times. So this is, means that those changes are going to happen really quickly. So remember I've got the minute between each of those changes. And as you can see already, we're moving from clear and we're going into scattered clouds. And you can see that developing on the game. So if you were just sat on the car with normal time, it would normally take a minute to a minute and a half before that actually started to change. The third setting we put into the weather effects was heavy rain. So as we see now on the bottom left hand corner, the rain is starting to build up and you can see that happening on screen see it covering the tarmac and puddles will start to form that looks really cool now remember guys I've sped this up and I've put really a ridiculous change on there of one minute between each of these changes so what you can do with this if you are running a race on an average it's going to take 20 minutes let's say to run that race you can put two or three different weather effects in that and have them dynamically run through that race with this kind of plan all you need to do is set up the timings it's as simple as that so that is the basic configuration of dynamic weather and how to do it now the next thing we can do is look at how time works actually in the game. So one of the cool things we've got in this piece here as well as being able to do days and seasons because obviously there's a full astronomical model around what Sol does and the models have done a fantastic job on this. Please do support them. I know I've dropped the links in the description again. But do support these guys because they do an amazing job on a set of Corsa. Um, as well as being able to change the years, the months, the days so you can really just choose wherever you want to be in history with this. There are also two buttons at the end here that help you to change the way that time passes while you're in a race. So obviously you can use this with the weather app to actually create all sorts of fantastic effects. So as you can see there, I'm pressing the one times and the 20 times and I'm going up to 64 times now, 84 times and you can see I'm going to stop at 144 times. So time is moving very quickly now, it's probably about a minute and a half, two minutes per second. Just to show you what an impact this will have, let's take a different view. So this is happening in real time in the game, so I've not sped the footage up. But as you can see, we are moving minutes per second. And you can see the sun going down really nicely, it actually looks very beautiful. So just going back to the example I gave earlier on of the 20 minute race, Within this 20 minute race now, not only could you have four or five different weather effects phasing in and out within that 20 minutes, but you could also change time with the settings that we've got here and speed time up. So even in that 20 minutes, you could actually have a 12 hour period that goes from night back to day and then to night again. That would be very, very cool. So with these two config boxes that I've got on screen here, the left hand one does everything to do with time and seasons and days and really changes all the astronomical model. The one on the right gives you access to all the plans as well as forcing the weather and giving you auto rain, auto wipers, etc. So again, as you can see there, I've just picked the Surspats test one and that's how you would actually do that. Guys, I hope you found that helpful. That's another quick tutorial. Check out the other tutorials on the channel. There's lots more sim racing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.